G'day guys and welcome back to ADOS the Great YouTube channel. So guys, in today's video, we're going to be going over my round, uh, round three tips, my apologies, and then the tips I'm picking for round four. So let's, uh, while this uh, glitch is out, let's uh, jump over and uh, check out the tips for round three. So back Cronulla, they got the win quite comfortably there over the Dragons. I thought this game would be a little bit closer, but uh, inevitably the Sharks were too good. Nico Hines is looking amazing, and I just think that was a perfect fit for Cronulla. Cronulla defeat a Dragons team that was red hot. They went toe to toe with Penrith. Like that's not that's not an easy game for the Sharks. Realistically, that should have been a lot closer than what it was. Cronulla just controlled the game from the get go, and it was a bloody brilliant game of football. Next up, we got the Warriors and the Tigers. I got this one right as well. This one was quite easy. Um, obviously, the Warriors are a better team than the Tigers. Tigers uh, did have some issues with injuries in that game. There was a controversial call that happened in the game, but inevitably, I think the, the Warriors still control that game and win it. Uh, moving on, Rabbitohs and Roosters. Tip my bunnies. I, I, As I said, I knew we would get this win. I just knew it. The, the Roosters set out to target Latrell Mitchell and it backfired on them. The Rabbitohs ran riot over the Roosters. Yes, it was only a 12-point win at the end of the day, but there were two disallowed tries. Yes, look, I agree they probably shouldn't have been called, but if they were, we win this game 40-16. So, big win for the Rabbitohs, in my opinion. I think that's going to give them uh, some confidence moving forward. Next up, we've got the Panthers and the Knights. Very good win for the Panthers. Uh, I thought the Knights were a little bit uh, lackluster, but at the same time, losing uh, Barnett was massive for them. Playing the majority of that game with only 12 plays really hurt Newcastle, and Penrith capitalised on that with a good win. Next up, the uh, Storm against Parramatta. This was a good game of football. I thoroughly enjoyed it. I thought both teams came with high energy. Uh, Storm have been a little bit disappointing this season to start the year off, and while I understand... They are sitting fifth on the ladder. They're not really looking like the team we know and love, or some of us anyway. So uh, I thought this was a disappointing loss for Storm while the game was very entertaining. I just, Storm just lacked that energy that they normally bring. Still a very like high energy game of football, but personally I think Storm, while they did have players out, should have run away with this game. Unfortunately, they didn't, and the Eels capitalised on that. So, shout out to Parramatta. I don't want to take anything away from the Eels. The Eels played very well in this game and deserve the win. Scrappy game of football. I'm not going to lie. I did turn the game off at half time. I thought uh, the Titans just looked the goods in the first half, and I thought the uh, Raiders, uh, the Titans, had run away with this one. To the Raiders' credit, they came back. They played a tough game of footy to get the win there. So, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm very surprised the Raiders turned that one around and got the win. But um, both teams are looking a bit uh, iffy in 2022. So I think we're going to have to see some big improvements from both these teams going forward. Next up, Broncos and Cowboys. I, I hate myself for not tipping the Cowboys. I did say last week, go and check my tips for last round. Because I do say I wouldn't be surprised if the Cowboys win this one. I thought this game would be close, but it was a blowout. And the Cowboys looked damn good. They were pretty much near perfect. Like, awesome game of footage from the Cowboys. The Broncos, I don't know what's going wrong there. Broncos looked really good in round one. They looked pretty good in round two. And then they sort of started to fall off a little bit. Uh, I, I just, look, I, as much as I love Adam Reynolds, and I think he will bring some amazing leadership and uh, sort of mentorship to the club. I don't know if his game, if his sort of game um, complements the Broncos as much as a lot of people think it does. Uh, Broncos are very, um, that, that in round one we saw them like to throw the ball around. There was not that, they didn't rely on their kicking that much and they looked dangerous. So full credit to the Broncos for that one. They were brilliant, but in game one, that is, but uh, they've started to fall off of late, and I don't know 
how well they're going to bounce back. But uh, yeah, continuing on to the last game of the round, I back Manly in this one. I thought they'd get it done quite comfortably, but it was a tough game. Manly only just won with a DCE field goal. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm a bit surprised, a bit surprised about that. But uh, yeah, let's jump over to round four and I'll give you my tips for the week. So I'm going to leave this one to last because as always, I like to talk a little bit about the Rabbitohs, a little bit more than most teams. Um, but uh, yeah, let's jump in. Let's do the tips straight away. Uh, we'll check the game info. We always do this. Titans and uh, Tigers. Titans and Tigers. I've got that right. I don't know what the hell I'm thinking. Um, so win percentage. Uh, sorry, tip percentage. 94% going to the Titans. 6% going to the Tigers. I think the Titans win this one, and I think they win it quite comfortably. While I did say that the Titans need to get back into sort of their groove, uh, I don't see them losing to the Tigers, and I still think they'll win this one pretty easily. Next up, we've got the Knights and the Sharks. Could pan out to be the game of the round. Uh, I think both Friday night games are going to be crackers, but I think this one could, uh, could potentially be one of the most entertaining games of this weekend. Uh, I'm going to back Cronulla in this one. I think they'll win quite, quite it'll be a qu quite close game, but I think uh, Sharkies will get the job done there. We'll come back to that one. Warriors and Broncos could turn out to be a pretty good game of footy. I do think the Broncos will get the win here. Now, if this was played in NZ, I would definitely lean more towards the Warriors. Just the way they've been playing recently, like they haven't been great, but I think they're moving in the right direction. I think the Broncos are moving in the wrong direction. So I uh, personally, if they're playing in New Zealand, I'd tip the Warriors every day of the week. But back in the Broncos here, I think they'll steer, steer the ship back and get a very close win in this one. That's what I'm predicting there. Sea Eagles and Raiders. This is a tough one again. Uh, the reason this is tough is... Manly haven't been themselves this year. Tom Trevojevic hasn't had that uh, impact that he had last year. And I think that is going to hurt Manly a little bit. I really do. Uh, with that being said, I still think they get the win here over the Raiders. The Raiders, I think they've got a little bit to work on in 2022. And before they find that form, I think we're going to see a few losses before we see a few wins, obviously. But uh, yeah, back in Manly in this one. Tipsters do have uh, Manly winning that one as well, so they agree with me. Uh, Cowboys and Roosters, I think, will be a cracker game. In uh, North Queensland, I said in my ladder prediction video, Cowboys are going to be hard to beat. And I stand by that, so I am actually backing the Cowboys in this one. So, another week where all Queensland teams win. That, that's crazy to think about. Like, tipping the Titans, Broncos and Cowboys is crazy. Crazy to think about, but... I think the Cowboys have what it takes to beat the Roosters. Obviously, the tipsters do disagree. Uh, I'm backing the uh, the long chance here, whatever they call it, the uh, not the dark horse, but uh, yeah, I'm backing the team that's uh, not so much favoured to win this one. Uh, Cowboys, I think, will put up a bloody good fight against the Roosters and win this game by, by a fair bit, I reckon. I don't think it'll be as close as people probably think it would. I think the Cowboys are going to do really well. It is tough for the Cowboys to beat the Roosters up at uh, Townsville, but I think they get it done this weekend. Next up, Storm and Bulldogs. I think it's a bit unfair to have the Bulldogs at $5. The Bulldogs have been a little bit of a surprise package this year, and I think they can tussle with the best of teams. I don't necessarily think they'll beat the best of teams, but I definitely think they can compete. I am back in Storm in this one, but I think it will be a lot closer than what people think. Now, finally, to round out the round before we get to the Rabbitohs game, we've got the Eels and the Dragons. Now, again, this could this could be one of the best games of the round. Like, who knows what sort of Dragon side we're going to get. Uh, Dragons were up there in the top eight a little while ago, and now they've fallen right down to 14th. So, uh, realistically, the Eels should win this game. But we've seen how well the Dragons can play in 2022. And I think it'll be a lot closer than uh, what people expect. But I am back in Parramatta. I think they'll get the job done here. 93% of people agree with me. So there we go. All right, guys. And finally, if you stuck around to this part, thank you so much. I'm sure a lot of Rabbitohs fans have to see what I've got to say about this game. Now, 
Round one, I tipped the rabbits. Round two, I tipped Storm. Round three, I tipped the rabbits. Round four, I'm going to talk about it. I'm going to tell you what I think will happen in this one. So, Panthers haven't lost the game in Blue Bet or at Blue Bet since 2019, I believe, which is in- insane. I could have that wrong. Actually, let me fact check this. So, yeah, uh, look, I'm just going to go with it if I uh, if I can find it, but. Okay, I might not be able to find it. Well, I can't find it, but it was either like their last their last loss at Blue Bet was it was it was a long time ago, put it that way. Um, so with that being said, I do think the Panthers will get the win here. I think it will be a close game. I think it will be an awesome game to see. The grand final rematch, it's going to be intense. I think both teams will... uh, I I personally think this will actually be a fairly low-scoring affair. I know a lot of experts are saying we're going to see a tri-fest, but I tend to disagree. I think it's going to be a very, very closely contested game, and I am backing against my boys this week. going to go by six here. I think that's a safe uh, margin. I don't think it'll be a blowout. I, I honestly don't, uh, especially with players like Cody Walker, Latrell Mitchell, Damian Cook all starting to find form. I do think the Rabbitohs will give the Panthers a hard time. I hope I get this tip wrong. I really do. I don't think I'll ever say that about any other team, but I do hope I get this tip wrong. But uh, I do I do feel the Panthers will be too strong at blue bet, so I'm backing them. And, uh, yeah, that is my tips for this week. So let's go over it one more time. Titans over the Tigers, Sharkies over the Knights, Panthers over the Bunnies, Broncos over the Warriors, Seagulls to beat the Raiders, Cowboys over the Roosters, Storm over the Bulldogs, and Eels over the Dragons. So uh, let me know, guys, who did you tip this week coming or to, for tomorrow night's uh, kickoff to round four? Let me know, guys. Um, but, uh, yeah, thank you all so much once again. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. Thanks, guys. Oh, 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 oh,